Good morning, Robert Davis here with you. This morning we're going to do a tutorial on the Nexus DB Free Edition. I haven't covered that yet, and I think you'll like it. It's pretty good stuff. So if you're using Rad Studio, um, you can download it from the Get It Package Manager. I'll show you that right now. Let's look at Delphi <clears throat> right here. And we'll go to tools and oh, tools get it package manager and give it a second and we'll type in nexus let that search and here it is as you can see i've already got mine installed but this is the one you want, Nexus DB Embedded Free Edition. It's uh, 4.5028 by Nexus DB Party Limited. I believe they're uh, um, Australia and or New Zealand based. But uh, this is what you want to install into your Delphi IDE. And let's look and see what you get. Uh, minimize this. And you get this uh, Nexus DB Enterprise Manager. We'll fire that up. Give it a second. And here you have the internal server. You double click on it. And if you have any databases, they'll show up here um, here's the system database but uh, this is one I've started on just for this tutorial and you can see I've created one table double click on that come on come on well I'll have to check this out I don't know why the table's not showing up but but it's there as you'll see in a minute um, and I'm just going to go ahead and so we don't get any arguments close this down don't get any errors thrown because of the table being open in another program so let's go to our Nexus DB demo right here <clears throat> and uh, this is a little application I've created going along with our contacts or clients databases that we've been messing with one of the first things you get to drop on the form is a uh, db server engine and that's required and then the second thing you want to drop on there is a uh, session and the third the actual database itself and the fourth, you need at least one table to make use of this. And that's all I have on here at this point um, to demonstrate this. And the cool part is you can turn these off and on for both runtime and design time. See, there it goes at design time, it's active. Uh, but the um, session needs to have the server engine um, selected, and that comes by way of a pull down. And then the database uh, needs the alias path, and this goes to right to the directory then. Um, I'm developing the application and I have it right in that directory so that's the alias path and then you also connect it to the session the DB session and then you drop your table on and assign the database and then you come down here and you can see you assign your table 
and depending on how you like to work things you can have design time active or not and run time active or not um, I'm going to put runtime active as yes and design time false so I don't have to cope with the graphics and changing edits and stuff during design time only. So uh, what we've done is gone to the fields editor and added all fields and then laid them out here on uh, what I've got here is a uh, DevExpress uh, CX page control and that gets all kinds of options about styling. I won't get into that in this tutorial but I will soon get into the DevExpress VCL components because they can really make an application uh, stand out. So I have a few of those on here. And you uh, lay out your fields and their labels. And then you uh, drop a DB navigator on there and assign it to data source one. It's the only data source on there. And you assign it to that. And then you can click over here and drop a grid into the page control uh, the, and this is a DevExpress grid from their VCL components and uh, it has some real good eye candy and some incredible functionality I'm not going to try to explain that in all now um, but let's go back over here and run this application And I'm using a trial version, so we're going to get a little nag screen. There's the trial version. And here you see it's active at runtime now. I didn't have to do anything. Um, and you see you can click right through the records, navigate through the records with the DB Navigator. <clears throat> I have some skeleton records and some friends and family pictures. Um, and then if you want to go look at your grid list instead, here it is. Uh, let's say I want to edit Thomas Verichek's record. I can do that either here or click back to the edit form and do it here. Uh, now let's close this for a minute and look at some of the code behind. Remember these two buttons for the uh, for the photo on the main form. Um, we're going to look at the code and we'll go up here to the uses because uh, maybe I better, uh, oh, here, this you have to manually put into your uses clause for your application in a NXSE all engines <clears throat> and separate with a comma. And that's all you need to do in addition. That's for your Nexus database um, to run that. It's required to put that in. Additionally, another requirement is to go to your project options. Did I hit that? Yeah. And under packages, you must click yes for link with runtime packages. Those are two additional requirements you have to make this fully operational. We'll save that. And you see 
see it doesn't give us any complaints when we run it. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> let's see, we'll put a note here. And then we'll scroll back to the very first record. And that automatically posts the record because as you see now when we go back there's notes for Nancy and it's saved. Um, let's see the oh these buttons I told you to remember about let's look at the code behind <clears throat> And here they are. This one loads. This is all you have to do. And it's the same code basically for almost all your databases that can accept images or photos or pictures, uh, graphics. It's the same. You use an open picture dialog, execute. And if the file name's not blank, you put the table into the edit mode. And in the blob field, you assign the photo, the file name of the open picture dialog. And then you post that to the table. And then the clear button is simply putting the table into the edit mode and changing the photo field dot as variant equals null and then you post the table post it to the table so that clears I'll show you that and that clears the f particular photo that you're after We'll go down here to clear him. And let's see if we can find another one. And here we'll we'll say he's tiny Tim. That's that's my best friend in the whole world. Uh and then you see it shows up on the grid list, the record selector goes to which record you're on. And then if you decide you want to change records here, again you can if you want to edit it, you can edit it here on the grid, or you can go to the main form, uh, main page, the edit form, and edit there. So uh, let's take a quick peek and see if let's see. No, that's not what we're looking for. Okay, we won't do that. Anyway, um, it's as simple as that. And again, the Nexus DB edition included in the Get It Package Manager is free. It's embedded. And it's very mature. They've been around a good long time. And they have the commercial versions available, and you'll end up paying for those, but this version is free. So remember, you have to put this in XSE all engines in your users clause. I I put it on my main form. I suppose I could have put it in the let me see. View source. I suppose I could have put it here, but um, it works fine in the main form. So, uh, the other thing again to remember is on the project options runtime packages under packages, check, make sure to check. The link with runtime packages is set to true. It's required. Um, I don't know why that has to be done. 
but uh, it does. And then you save that. And uh, go back and run your application. An interesting thing, um, these are these styles are all application-wide um, for the Dev Express controls, and those are the ones I happen to be using. It's the um, trial version. But on this grid, and it has a lot of interesting and powerful features. For instance, you can you can sort by clicking on the field and you see it'll sort both ways. With the DB grid that requires considerable amount of code to be written. You want to sort by last name, there you go. And if you wanted to um, group for instance, Davis, I think, has more than one. Yes. And Willard has more than one. Yes. So, uh, you see how it can do smart groupings like this. And you can filter it like that. Or you can just put it back where it was. And it goes back to that and look at the alternating grid rows so you have a fairly consistent idea of what record you're messing with at the time. So uh, there you have it. It's very simple to use once you get the notion and once you get it installed. Um, and additionally, let me show you on the uh, design time, let me show you what else is installed with it, your Nexus DB, and it has everything that you need to deal with Nexus, lots of good components here. Here's that, all engines, maybe you could have dropped that on the form. I suppose, but the instructions I read said that you needed to add it to your users clause. So that's what I did. Well, and thank you for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget, it's free with your Get It Package Manager through uh, Rad Studio, either Delphi or C++ Builder. So... Make use of it. It handles graphics just fine. Although I believe they have to be uh, BMPs, uh, not PINGs or JPEGs or things like that. They have to be Windows bitmap files and BMP. So uh, that's what we got. Let's see where our app, there's our app. And uh, I sure have enjoyed doing this for you, and I look forward to any questions that you may have, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much. Bye.